We'll be mainly covering all the unused ballast I have in stock. Now there is some HO ballast I have at another location that I don't have on me. So let's start up here with the biggest. It's a sign ballast. You can read the specs on it. HO. Here we have an advance. And it has a lot of bulbs that can run, all HO mainly. Here we have two Magnatech universal ballasts that can run one F40 T12 a piece. These are early. You know, they can run bulb, not two. This is a new old stock General Electric ballast. Two F40 T12s. This is a F96 T12 dual ballast for the single pin bulbs. These two ballasts here are the same. They each of them can run three of each of these bulbs here. These are early T8 ballasts. Up here we have a dual 110 watt HO ballast and advanced cool coil. This is a very early dual F40 rapid start ballast. Pretty big. It's in an odd shape. It, it's not narrower than these new ones. And a lot wider too. Here we have a Valmount Electric dual F40 ballast. Two advanced cool coil ballasts, both F40 T12. Couple more advanced F40 T12 ballasts. Here's a Mark III Energy Saver F40 T12. Here's another F40 T12. Here's a General Electric F40 T12 ballast. These will explode on energy saving bulbs. Here we have a Jefferson Electric dry, dry Lock Ballast Dual F40. These are really hard to find. I have one in use. Unfortunately, this one's dead. Here we have a Bench Light, which are real junk. They explode after about 20 years of use. Caraway Ballast Dual F40 T12. A US Fluorescent Dual F40 T12. Here's the early electronic rapid start dual F40 T12 ballast. Moving on to electronic ballast. Dual F40 T12 ballast. This one here is, these two here are dual F32 T8 ballasts. This one can run four F32 T8s. And this one down here is an F96 T12 single pinned electronic ballast. This one at the bottom can only run one F40 T12. Some more over here. This is a single F40 T12 rapid start ballast. This dirty looking thing right here, which amazingly still works. I just took it out because it has unsafe wiring. It is a 22 watt circle line ballast. And that one came out of that fixture right there. Here we have a dual F20 T12 ballast and a 32 watt and a 22 watt rapid start ballast. And I have a bunch of these preheat chokes that can range from an F8 T5 all the way up to a 20 watt fluorescent lamp. And you can see I have a bunch of them here in stock. I have this one here, which is for a 15 watt manual preheat circuit. That's just about all of them that are unused, not counting all the ones I have in my fixtures. And I probably wouldn't have enough room in here if I demonstrated all those. So there you go.